two pennies. Spend the first on bread and the other on hyacinths for your soul. We shouldn't be wondering where the children need art and music and stories and poems any more than plants need water. Philip Pullman. New neural connections that make it possible for us to learn and remember and problem solve and create can continue to form throughout life, particularly when human beings are in environments that are positive, nurturing, stimulating and that encourage action and interaction. I am more convinced than ever about the necessity of art. It is who we are. We describe ourselves by our culture. Without that, we're nothing. Technically though, we are all nothing. We are stardust, collections of particles, of atoms which had happened to collide in such a way that life was formed, the chances of which were infinitesimally small. But that's not art, that's science! No, wait, who's the most famous scientist you know? Einstein! Well, Einstein said, Logic will take you from A to B, imagination will take you everywhere. When Steve Jobs launched the iPad 2 in 2011, he said, It is in Apple's DNA that technology alone is not enough. It is technology married with the liberal arts, married with the humanities, that yields us the results that make our hearts sing. And he gave us Siri. What's up, Siri? I'm practicing my own thing about it. I'm just like that. 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 Oh well, guess I'll try again yesterday. The arts have been an inseparable part of the human journey. We depend on the arts to carry us towards the fullness of our humanity. The arts make us human. This stage is seven metres long, three metres high and six metres deep. It is a platform for communications, but it is a box, and as such, it has limitations. When we stand on this stage, you see us as actors, musicians, dancers. But outside the box, in the real world, the things we do and say every day, those are art too. And whatever boxes we leave, art won't be left behind. We must never be afraid to create art.